welcome to this week's agronomy update. I'm Cody Wirtschus, CCA agronomist for Osmus Farm Supply. This week we'll be discussing the importance of macro and micronutrients in corn at this time of year and how going forward it is important for next year. Over the next couple of minutes we'll be showing you a series of charts that outline where the nutrients are going and at what rate they're being taken up by the plants. First we'll talk about nitrogen. For a 230 bushel acre corn crop, it's going to need about 250 pounds of nitrogen to produce. The sweet spot for nitrogen is from V12 to R1. This is a 21 day window where the corn crop takes up about 150 pounds of N, which equals about 7 pounds a day. After flowering, the corn crop takes up about 60 pounds of N. When it comes to phosphorus, Corn needs 101 pounds of P to get 230 bushel per acre. Phosphorus has two sweet spots for absorption. The first sweet spot is V12 to R1, where it absorbs 50 pounds of P, or roughly 2 pounds of P per day. The next sweet spot is R3 up until grain fill, where about 40 pounds of P is absorbed. To raise 230 bushels of acre of corn, 180 pounds of potassium is needed uptaken by the corn plant. 80% of the potassium has been accumulated in the plant by R1. When it comes to secondary and micronutrients that are needed in smaller amounts, they are still significant. Only half of the sulfur that the crop needs is in the plant by flowering, and it has to be available season long because it's immobile in the plant. When it comes to boron, it's an interesting one because its accumulation within the plant goes up, then down, and then up again. Why is this? Boron is essential to creating viable pollen and then establishing good silk growth and formation. During tassel time, when the tassel emerges, sheds, and the silk elongate and shed, the plant loses the boron through those physiological occurrences. Thus, the plant starts to uptake the micronutrient again. Now that you have a better understanding of how the corn crop utilizes its nutrients throughout the season, you can better plan for the upcoming 2016 corn crop. If you have any questions, please contact your AFS agronomist. Thanks for watching this week's update.